Yeah, yeah. Somos leyenda. Check out. Ok, huh. Dime Ronaldinho. Siendo una leyenda lo sabía desde niño. Fácil en cariño. Comiendo el almuerzo me faltaba el aliño. ¿Por qué no frontea, mini? Si tú tienes porte, te lo juro, no eres fea. Flo duro como un Lamborghini. So we have settled on the encore. It's weird, going into tonight, I was thinking, tonight might be a long night. But as the night progresses, I need to catch a second win. In order for this to be a long night, I'm gonna need to catch a second win in about 30 minutes. Cowboy Jamin is tired. But we're gonna see, we're gonna see how we feel when we get in here and um, let's just play it by ear. With the meetup game at the Aria over, I move on to New Pastures. The game? 2-5 at the Encore when Encore place. You know what I mean. $1,500 cap, and as far as 2.5 goes, this is the deepest in the city. I buy chips, walk to the table, and begin to get situated for battle. Literally my first hand at the table. Before I can even sit down to get comfortable, I look down at Queen 10 offsuit in the big blind. A European reg that has been in town for a few months at this point opens the button for $20, and we defend. We see a favorable flop in 6, 10, 3, rainbow, and I check it over to him. Pretty dry board here, but he continues for $25. With top pair and an over, we make an easy call. The turn pairs the three, and we check again with our two pair. In my experience, he is not a passive player, and that three has not dissuaded him. He bets again, $90. We aren't the happiest about the current state of events, but we still have top pair and the over and know that he likes to bet. We call. The River Queen makes us a bit happier as our two pair is now improved. We check again, wondering if he'll keep up the aggression. Oh, he does, in a rather large way. $275. I don't like it. I mumble about not liking it. Something feels off. 275? Uh, I don't like this. But I find the call. And he shows us pocket sixes for a full house. I give him the tap tap and say nice hand, which we all know means, you son of a bitch. Welcome to the encore win encore, Jamin. That's great. That's just fucking great, man. Now what the fuck are we supposed to do? We're some real pretty shit now, man. You finished. Still early in the session, and we have some walkers. So we are shorthanded here. Under the gun limps for $5, and I raise to $20 in what is effectively the cutoff position with ace-10 offsuit. Button and blinds fold, and the limper decides to make the call. All two of us see a flop of Jack-6-9 with two hearts, and I elect not to continuation bet when it gets checked to me. The turn eight of diamonds is pretty interesting. It adds another flush draw, completes a myriad of straights, and turns quite a few one-pair hands on the flop into two-pair. The under-the-gun player likes something about that eight of diamonds. I mean, who doesn't? And now he leads for $25. Well, sir, I like the eight of diamonds, too. I call. I like to turn even more when the seven of spades hits the river, giving me a straight. Not the best straight, but a shorthanded straight is, well, good. The under the gun player, not dissuaded by the seven, bets again. This time he makes it $55, to which I quickly raise to 125. He hems and haws for a bit before making the call and getting the bad news.
this next hand, the villain is the one seat. You can't see much of her in the video, but I assure you, she is there. Action folds to me and I find an open on the button to $20 with 6-8 of diamonds. The small blind folds, but the big blind, well, she comes along. She checks the flop of ace, king, king, and since it's way more likely that I flopped quads than her, I bet. $15. A non-believerer, I see. She calls. The turn is the ten of diamonds and we find her checking again. Well, now at least I have a flush draw to go along with my eight high and potential quads. So I bet, again, $70. Still a non believer She calls. A diamond would be really nice on the river, but instead we get the three of clubs and she checks again. Zero chance I'm just going to check and lose with eight high, so a bet is in order. $100. This time she tanks for a bit before making the call, and I don't tank at all before just mucking my hand. Damn non believers. My original table broke and I was quickly moved to a new one. I didn't know a ton about the players here, although I do recognize a few of them as regs. And that's about all the information I had. So under the gun straddles to 10 and middle position opens to 40, which is then called by the button and now action is on me. Peeling up my cards, I reveal the ace four of diamonds. Now I'm not squeezing all suited ace fours, but this particular combination, I am. I three bet to $150. The straddle thinks for a second and folds, what I later found out was ace-queen suited. The opener folds, and the button goes into the tank. It's at this point I realize a potential issue with my 3-bet. The button only has $140 total. I fully expect him to call it off, and he does. The jack-5-6 rainbow flop isn't good for me. Hell, it doesn't even contain a diamond. However, the ace of hearts on the turn, I like, and I hope the seven of clubs on the river is inconsequential. I table my hand, and the button shows pocket eights, and I scoop this one. I can't believe you waited on me, to be honest with you. Thank you. you might not now I see Yeah, I mean, ace queen from the straddle, like, he's, it's like four bat. But, but here's the thing, he raised, right? Yeah. Come over the top, so I'm like, you guys have a pocket pair, right? Or you got ace. ace? <laughs> you got ace queen. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, I mean, you got ace queen there. I'm just making it like 525, and we're going to see who's got what. Unfortunately, the footage in the very beginning of this hand was quite garbled, so let me just tell you what happened. Under the gun has straddled again. Next act, a seemingly solid player is open to $40, and once again, I'm in the small blind. This time with pocket queens. So a four bet is definitely in order, and I do just that. I make it 125. Blinds and straddle fold, and the early position player calls. We are heads up. The flop, not horrible in King 10-4, and I could go either way with a check or bet. 
Obviously, for my exact hand, the king is worrisome, but for the range of hands I might three bet with from the small blind, aces, kings, ace-king, king-queen suited, the king is quite good. I check, and our villain checks back. The turn three is as blank as blank can get, and I check again. Our villain, however, he's done with the checking, and bets pot, $250. My double check definitely has my hand strength disguised a bit, and he may be trying to protect Jax. So I call. The river brings a deuce, and me leading here would make little sense. So I check a third time. The bet that I'm faced with is $600. That's not Jax. It could be aces. It could be ace-king. It could be a set. But it's definitely not Jax. I fold rather quickly, and later I'm told that he, in fact, had pocket kings for top set. Top set. Top set. Wow. Yeah, pocket kings there. Six pocket kings. An early position limp and cutoff race to 15, and I make it $50 from the big blind with king-queen offsuit. I seem to be playing a lot of hands from the blinds this session. Interesting. Anyway, the early position limper is the only person willing to continue, so we see the flop heads up. Jack, 10, 3, rainbow, and I see bet $25, and our villain continues. The turn 8 puts two spades on the board, completes a straight that only I should really have, but otherwise doesn't do much. I check, and action checks through. The river brings the four of diamonds, which also means it brings absolutely nothing. No pair, my draws brick and I'm left with king high. There's little chance I'll win this pot with king high, so we must bet. We don't want it to go check check and for me to lose to pocket sixes or sevens or god forbid ace high. Bet sizing here doesn't have to be crazy, just something to concern pocket payers and shed a lone ace. We settle on $75 and get snap called and lose to ace seven offsuit. Check out the big brain on Brad. You're a smart motherfucker, that's right. As the night was winding down, the number of interesting hands were winding up. And guess what? I'm in the blinds again with king-queen offsuit. Here, the under-the-gun player limps, and a pretty aggressive player on the button raises to $15. I find the three bet from the small blind is $75, and only the button calls. Out of position against an aggressive player. This should be fun. Heads up to a flop of queen, seven, nine with two diamonds. I decide to check here to hopefully let him fire at it and then hit him with the old check raise. So I check, and he does fire. But his bet is much larger than I had anticipated. $115. I abort the check raise plan and just call. The turn three of spades should mean nothing to either one of us, and I check again. And again, he goes very large. $325. He's saying that he has a set, or he has nothing at all. At least not yet. A check raise here would be massively overplaying my hand, especially since the turn wasn't a diamond. So I call again. If the three of spades on the turn was a blank, the two of clubs on the river is even blanker. I'm very interested to see what he'll do here. We both still have over 1k left in our stacks, and him shoving isn't out of the question. I check again and he takes no timing checking back. I'm not one for the no you show first game so I expose my hand, he quickly mucks, and I exhale. Check dark. Check dark. Six
end of the night. End of the night for Cowboy Jamin. The encore treated me well. Um, it's late, so we're gonna wrap this up quick. In the 2-5 uh, game at the Encore for 1500, out for 1768. Dirty math tells me I'm up 268. Wish I had more exciting and dynamic things to say about the game I was in, but I do not. I uh, got caught bluffing a couple times. I squeezed a lot, and for the majority of them I got through. I ran queens into a set of kings once. Pretty standard stuff. But the night has come to a close. And I got things to do tomorrow. Otherwise I'd be here all damn night. So. As always, thanks for watching. If you like the vlogs, subscribe, leave me a comment, hit the thumbs up, do all the things, and I will uh, catch you next time. Bye. Man, it's dark right here. It's Thursday, January 20th, and we are obviously in the shower, getting clean, prepared to head down to the strip. They got me. That's all you need to know. We have, uh... Going into the... We have settled on the encore. Going into tonight, I kind of felt like I wanted it to be a long night. Wish I had more dynamic and exciting things to say about the game I was in, but I do not. Didn't pick up many hands. Wish I had more to...